Senate rule it didn't work very well, but uh, we're going to. I'll try to give additional time on the other side as well. Senator Cornyn. There's no question that your platforms are very popular, um, but we know that uh, while here in the United States we have an open society and uh, free exchange of information, that there are authoritarian governments, there are criminals who will use your platforms for the sale of drugs, for sex, for extortion, and the like. And um, Mr. Chu, I think your company is uh, unique among the ones represented here today because of its uh, ownership uh, by ByteDance, a uh, Chinese company. And I know there have been some steps that you've taken uh, to uh, wall off the data collected here in the United States. But the fact of the matter is that under Chinese law and Chinese national intelligence laws, all information accumulated by companies in the People's Republic of China are required to be shared with the Chinese intelligence services. Um, ByteDance, uh, the initial release of TikTok, I understand, was 2016. Uh, these efforts that you made with Oracle under the so-called Project Texas to wall off the U.S. data was in 2021 and apparently allegedly fully walled off in March of 23. What happened to all of the data that TikTok collected before that? Senator, thank you. From, you Amer from American users. Understand. Um, TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is majority owned by global investors, and we have three Americans on the board out of five. Um, you are right in pointing out that over the last three years, we have spent billions of dollars building out Project Texas, which is a plan that is unprecedented in our industry, the wall off, firewall off, protected U.S. data from the rest of our staff. And I'm, we asking, also and I'm asking about all of the data that you collected prior to that, that event. Uh, yes, Senator. We have started a data deletion plan. I talked about this a year ago. We have finished the first phase of data deletion through our data centers outside of the Oracle cloud infrastructure. And we're beginning phase two, where we will not only delete from the data centers, we will hire a third party to verify that work. And then we will go into, you know, for example, employees' uh, uh, working laptops to delete that as well. Was all of the data collected by TikTok prior to Project Texas shared with the Chinese government uh, pursuant to the national intelligence laws of that country? Senator, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. Your company is unique, again, among the, uh, the ones represented here today because you're currently undergoing review by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. Is that correct? Senator, yes, there are ongoing discussions, uh, yep. and a lot of our Project Texas work is informed by the, year, the discussions with many agencies under the CFIUS umbrella. Well, CFIUS is designed specifically to review foreign investments in the United States for national security risks, correct? Yes, I believe so. And your company is currently being reviewed by this interagency committee of the, at the Treasury Department for potential national security risks? Uh, Senator, this uh, review is on a acquisition of Musical.ly, which is an acquisition that was done many years ago. I mean, is this a casual conversation, or, or are you actually uh, providing information to the Treasury Department about your, how your, your platform operates um, for evaluating a potential national security risk? Senator, it's been uh, many years across two administrations and a lot of discussions around how our plans are, how our systems work. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of robust discussions about a lot of detail. 63% of teens, I understand, use TikTok. Does that sound about right? I, Senator, I cannot verify that. We know we are popular amongst many age groups. The average age in the U.S. today for our user base is over 30, but we're aware we are popular. And uh, you reside in Singapore with your family, correct? Yes, I, have, uh, I reside in Singapore and I work here in the United States as well. And do your children have access to TikTok in Singapore? Senator, uh, if they lived in the United States, I would give them access to our under 13 experience. My children are below the age of 13. 
my question is, in Singapore, do they have access to TikTok, or is that restricted by, by uh, domestic law? Uh, we do not have an under-13 experience in Singapore. We have that in the United States. Because we were deemed a mixed audience app, and uh, we, ha we created under-13 experience in response to that. A Wall Street Journal article published yesterday directly contradicts what your company has stated publicly. Um, according to the journal, employees under the Project Texas say that U.S. user data, including user emails, birth date, IP addresses, continue to be shared with ByteDance staff, again, owned by a Chinese company. Do you dispute that? Yes, Senator. There are many things about that article that are inaccurate. Where it gets right is that this is a voluntary uh, project that we built. We spent billions of dollars. There are thousands of employees involved, and it's very difficult because it's unprecedented. Why is, why is it important that uh, the data collected from U.S. users be stored in the United States? Uh, Senator, this uh, was a project we built in response to some of the concerns that were raised by members of this committee and others. And that was because of concerns that the data that was stored in China could be accessed by the uh, Chinese Communist Party by an, according to the uh, national intelligence laws, correct? Uh, Senator, we are not the only company that does business, uh, uh, you know, that has Chinese employees, for example. We're not even the only company in this room that hires Chinese nationals. But in order to address some of these concerns, we have moved the data into the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. We built a 2,000-person team to oversee the management of the data based here. We fired, walled it off from the rest of the organization. And then we opened it up to third parties like Oracle, and we will onboard others to give them third-party validation. This is unprecedented access. I, I think we are unique in taking even more steps to protect user data in the United well, States. Well, you've disputed the Wall Street a journal story published yesterday, uh, are you going to conduct any sort of investigation to see whether there's any truth to, uh, to the allegations made in the article, or are you just going to dismiss them outright? Uh, we're not going to dismiss them. So we have ongoing security inspections, not only by our own personnel, but also by third parties to ensure that the system is rigorous and robust. No system that we, any one of us can build is perfect. But what we need to do is to make sure that we are always improving it and testing it against bad people who may try to bypass it. And if anyone breaks our policies within our organization, we will take disciplinary action against them. Thanks, Senator Cornyn. Senator Coons.